And now, your Storm Team 18 forecast. Weather from where you live. Well, there's a vigorous storm system right here. Heavy snows in the Rockies. We've got high winds here in the plains and a severe weather outbreak here in Nebraska moving into Kansas. Multiple confirmed tornadoes here. You can see the tornado watches that are in effect in this area. So as this storm winds up and moves eastward, you might be wondering about severe weather risk here. Well, certainly it's going to be up in Kansas and Iowa, Missouri, getting into later this evening and tomorrow. But I want you to notice down south all these low clouds in the southeast U.S from our storm system that went through yesterday. It is currently only 72 at Jacksonville. It's 69 degrees at New Orleans, and I just looked at Defuniac Springs, Florida. It's only 67 degrees right now, and even parts of central Mississippi and Arkansas, temperatures are only in the mid 60s. So this is cool, stable, damp air, and this is a solid gray overcast. So this air is not unstable at all. Now this plume, is unstable air. This is coming from the western Gulf of Mexico where the sun is out. We've got temperatures well into the 80s up here to Kansas. So this is the plume of more unstable air that's helping to fuel the severe weather outbreak. As the storm moves eastward, our winds will be coming out of the southeast. So what's that mean? The more stable air will be coming in our way rather than this coming in our way. If we want to get a big outbreak of severe weather, you really need to see the really unstable air in Mississippi, Alabama and Arkansas. And obviously we don't have that right now. So that said, a few spotty showers through tomorrow morning and then numerous showers and thunderstorms tomorrow afternoon and into tomorrow evening. Windy as well, 53 in the morning, a 74 degree high with highs varying from 68 at Morocco to 76 at Frankfurt and about 76 at Rusheville. On Saturday, a couple showers in the morning, a few breaks in the clouds for a while, then quite a few showers later on in the day and what's going to be a cool, breezy to windy day. And remember that partial eclipse, 1138 to 226 p.m. with the peak at 1 p.m. in the area. And if we're lucky enough, we'll see a few of those breaks in the clouds and maybe get a brief glimpse of that partial eclipse. And there you see the highs at 53 to 58 viewing area wide. So there's tonight, there's tomorrow. And note a few little showers coming in tomorrow morning and a couple around midday and then rain and storms coming in from the west. There's four, there's 530. Here we are at 730 tomorrow evening. Rain, storms, there's nine o'clock, there's 1030. And finally, around midnight, still showers and storms around. Eventually, these pull away, and we're left with just a few showers Saturday morning, and then a few breaks in the clouds early Saturday afternoon before more widespread showers coming from the north by Saturday evening. In terms of additional rainfall, remember, some places already had an inch and a half, inch and six tenths in our northern counties. I think a lot of the area is going to get an additional three quarters to more than an inch and a half of rain to add what we've already to add on to what we've already gotten. All right, so uh, 55 on Saturday, 54 Sunday, a few showers Monday, 54, a couple showers on Tuesday, 58. And then after a break, a few more showers later Thursday, but at least it warms up back to a high around 70.